Hey guys, I'm back with, I believe this is a Wansy Entertainment video. This is called True Old Building Horror Story Animated. I'm going to find out very soon if this is actually a Wansy video. I think it is, based on the animation that I see just in the beginning of this video. But it's almost five and a half minutes long. It's an old building story, so I don't know if, if you like live in this building or if this building is your house. Or if you just went into like a abandoned building, then you're fucked anyway. And like, what do you expect to happen? But let's go, guys. First, First of, all, of all, I would like to thank, thank Gamora 9 for sponsoring this video. I usually receive questions from you guys, like asking me, how do I edit my video? Well, if you're first starting your YouTube channel, you guys must try Filmora 9, because it is basically designed for beginners and super easy to use. It only takes you a few minutes to understand the basic editing features, like trim and crop the footage, edit the audio, and so on. And there are also tons of preset media built into Filmora 9, such as music, titles, filters, and animated elements for free to use. Just simply drag and drop the effects to the timeline. That's it. Among all the features of Filmora 9, what I like the most is that you can just put the effects easily and you can see the videos right away. Very fast and simple. If you are looking for some much more cool stuff like audio, image, footage, and after effects, you can go to Filmora 9's online library film stocks to download all the assets you want. And here is the most important thing. It is quite affordable compared to Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, and you can even try it for free before you make any purchase. You can check the download link in the description, and you can try it for free today. One evening, I was looking for an internet cafe because I needed to send a few emails. I spotted one in an old building. The sign said it was on the sixth floor. When I walked through the entrance, there was a dark hallway that led to a small Sus. elevator. I pressed the call button and when the doors opened, I stepped inside. In a lot of Asian countries, many buildings do not have a fourth floor. The number four is considered bad luck because the word four sounds almost the same as the word for death. When it stopped and the doors opened, I was about to step out when I realized that something was wrong. The hallway was in total darkness. By the light emanating from the elevator, I could make out a random piece of furniture covered with white cloth. It looked like it hadn't been touched in years. I thought I might have gotten off on the wrong floor, so I checked the buttons, but none of them were lit up. There was nothing to indicate which floor I was on. Just then, I noticed something moving at the end of the darkened hallway. I couldn't quite make out what it was, but it looked like a person dressed in some type of gown. The figure was moving slowly down the hallway towards the elevator. Get back in the elevator, hurry the fuck out the door. I started pressing the closed door button. All of a sudden, the light in the elevator flickered and turned off. I was burned into the pitch darkness. I was so freaked out, I almost wet myself. Just as I was about to lose it completely, the lights flickered back on. The doors closed. The elevator jolted back to life and began to ascend again. I breathed a sigh of relief. When the doors opened this time, I was at the internet cafe. I went over to the counter and told the girl who worked there and what had happened. As she listened, her face grew pale. She said that some of the customers and a few of her co-workers had experienced the same thing. She had never experienced anything herself, but she told me about the history of the building. Apparently, the fourth floor had been a hair salon at one time. It was prospering and doing pretty good until one of the women who worked there killed herself in the salon. Nobody knew the reason why. The salon continued to operate, but they were plagued by weird and inexplainable events. Sometimes when customers were having their hair washed, the water would turn as red as blood. Other people claimed that when they looked in the mirror, they would catch glimpses of a ghostly figure standing behind them. When they turned around, there would be no one there. So because of these events, uh, I remember hearing this story. Bad reputation and began to lose customers. And then they had to shut down. Eventually, they were forced to close down. The building's owner tried to rent the fourth floor out to other businesses, but when they found out what had happened, nobody would take it. Mm. Finally, mm -hmm. the owner reduced the price to nearly nothing, and it was rented by a businessman who planned to open a stationary supply store. However, when they tried to do some renovations on the floor, there was a series of mysterious accidents. The workmen's tools would sometimes disappear, only to be found in strange places. 
A large mirror suddenly shattered when nobody was near it, and the workman had his hand crushed when the elevator closed unexpectedly. Eventually, the workmen were so spooked that they refused to continue. The building's owner gave up trying to rent the fourth floor out and just shut it down. He had the buttons in the elevator replaced, and it was reprogrammed that nobody could go on the fourth floor. At least that's what's supposed to happen. For some reason, when people took the elevator, it would sometimes stop on the fourth floor, and when the doors opened, some people would see a figure coming towards them. And it's like, uh, that's actually terrifying. I honestly still don't know what that was. Eh? That's honestly terrifying. Like I can't even 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 imagine. Like I don't I don't have any elevator horror stories like that. I just have like an elevator horror story just being locked into one, but nothing like that though. That's terrifying. Like just always like such shit happening. You know, like you can't like on a death with someone and then basically they're haunting you. It's like that's scary shit. You know, it's just. That's not something you want to like hear about we see. I remember hearing the story, but an animated version is obviously a lot better. <coughs> oh wow. That was something, alright. But that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know if you, if, if you guys had any sus experiences with old buildings or elevators or whatever it may be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.